what we hoped was going to be a peaceful last morning in Granada didn't turn out so. Just ran out of our room in our hostel as our roommates thought they had bed bugs. Yeah, we've been fine the whole week. She saw bites on something and yeah, so we just left because it was crazy in there. Yeah, that was a really interesting start to the morning. We thought we were gonna have a leisurely pace for our last day, get our stuff together. And we barely had two seconds to ourselves in the room. Yep, and unfortunate. there were no signs of bugs anywhere. So now we're at a coffee shop to escape. We made it in. We got some coffee. I got an Americano, Jenny got cafe con leche, a tostada with tomato, and tuna sandwich. So this is what, what do we learn? Second breakfast after reading that article? So we're late. Yeah, we're late for our second breakfast. Lunch is at what, three? Lunch starts at two. So we're gonna see if we can match their times. But yeah, we're happy, it's a cool little place. Um, we'll hang out here for a while, escape the madness, which is our hostel room right now. We like escaping and cafes hidden away. <laughs> it's almost two o'clock. Highly recommend going to Zoe Ca Zoe Coffee. If you need a coffee, a relaxation, a really kind, good Wi-Fi, delicious food as well if you want a sandwich at a normal lunch hour. We got the tuna and tostada with tomato. Delicious. It was a big sandwich and actually full. It wasn't tapas. It was a legitimate sandwich. And all of it. So two coffees, a sandwich, and a tostada was only 10 euro. So great cost great quality for lunch and we were saying the place felt like home a little bit so if you need a break from Europe and want to just kind of have a taste of home that would definitely be a good spot lots of American accents in there yes and now we're off to the shopping place we were at yesterday um, what are we gonna do? Get some breakfast stuff? Get some snacks for a bus ride tomorrow because we're catching a cab at about 6.15 in the morning. So. Yeah, so we'll get some brekkie and Jenny might try on her dress again. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Successful trip at the supermarket. What we get? Well, we got these cereal bars and two apples. We had an interesting experience getting the apples because we wanted to just go pick our own produce like you normally would. And this lady was saying hola at us. We had read that somebody with gloves picks your fruit, but nobody was around. But she in Spanish told us that we could not pick our own fruit. So she came around, picked our apples, and gave us them in a bag. Yeah. And we got them. And we got them. It does make it <clears throat> easier because, well not easier, but they just mark the ticket off how much they d it is and they weigh it and all that stuff. But it's just kind of strange pro tip if you're going there so you won't be caught off guard. Someone else picks your fruit. <laughs> so now we're gonna check out the hostel, see if things have calmed down and they're not steaming everything inside. Verdict. No bed bugs. No idea what they're talking about. This place is actually very clean, especially for a hostel. It's our last.
last night in Granada. Very sad, but yeah. excited for the next place. Never been to India, so big travel day tomorrow. Yeah, starting early. But tonight, we're going to go out and enjoy our last night here for the fifth day in a row. We're going to go to Los Diamantes. It's the best place that we've found for tapas because it's open throughout the whole afternoon. So when we're hungry on American dinner time, we can go get some tapas. And then that's been our little starter if we want to go get tapas anywhere else. And if you order a drink, you get a free tapas with it. And it's just really good seafood. So they've been our lifesaver this week. Yeah. Shout out Bar Los Diamantes. Um, and Plaza Nueva. Because mm -hmm. I think there's a few throughout the city, but mm -hmm. that's the one we've gone to. Mm -hmm. So probably won't bring the camera out as we've packed all of our stuff up. And we're just sort of... What we've at least done for our travel and our hostels is prep everything the night before. Get up, take our stuff, and dip. So we're nice and quiet. And all ready to go. So plan a night, like Jenny said. We'll go eat, come back, check out, get our deposit back, and then... Go to bed. Stop. Yeah. We have to be at the taxi line at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. 6.15. 6 yeah. And we have to bring these bags back down all of these steep streets in the dark. So, see, this one's a bit heavier this time. And then these two. Translation searches. We finally got our ice cream. What did you get, Jenny? I got two I got, I think, which is kind of like Nutella with two scoops of coffee on top. And I got pistachio and coffee. Unfortunately, we had to get three scoops each to hit the six euro minimum to use a car. Oh darn. Very tough decision to make. But they really didn't speak much English, so that was probably the hardest ordering since we've been here. But what? it worked out. So we just did our last hike back to one of the hostel. Final packing, check out. That's and right. it's an early morning. Oh so. my. <laughs> so good night, Granada. Good night. We've loved our time here. We will miss it. Thank you, Casey Plasker, for all the great recommendations. Couldn't have done it without you. Mm -hmm. And that's a wrap.